Hello there, friends. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome on in. It is finally, finally time. I hope you're all having a great one. Welcome on in. Uh, we have paths, and I'm not too sure if I'm going to stick with these ones uh, or if I'm just going to, you know, flip-flop between some or maybe eventually I'll find one that I'll stick with. We'll see. I found some that I kind of like, but also it's one of those things where I kind of like it, but that's also, you know, on the computer, not in the game. And sometimes it can look very different when it's actually like on the ground. <laughs> so we're going to see how this goes. Uh, also, we have mail today. Bear with me here. There you go. We got mail from Olivia. Uh, my birthday party this year was even better than usual. Perhaps it's because I had you there to celebrate with me. Of course, it's not just because you gave me a gift. Really, from Olivia. <laughs> there we go. Well, I'm glad that she liked it, even though it wasn't, like, exactly what she wanted. I got a tent wall. <laughs> I am not living in a tent anymore, but I guess I'll take it. Um, but yeah, so... Not only do we have paths today, but we also have something else to do really quickly. Rainbow flag, you have served me well, but I think it's finally time to change to the proper official way back flag, which, by the way, thank you once again to Finn for making this for me. Uh, it is perfect, honestly. <laughs> I am not very good at drawing, uh, and I don't think I could come up with anything even remotely similar. Okay, so town flag. I'd like to submit a new design for the Wayback Flag. Great. Please show me the design. All right, and there are the paths, by the way. There you go. Look at that. Wow. It's perfect. It really captures the spirit of Wayback. We'll use this design for our new town flag. Thank you for your excellent submission. Thank you. There we go. All right, let's go see it, shall we? There we go. I really like it. It's very simple, but it has my little rainbow thing going on, which I always really like. Um, yeah, I think that looks great. I like it. Thank you so very much for that. Um, okay, so you guys have already actually kind of seen the path, I guess. Um, I'm just trying to decide where I want to start from. So if we have anyone in here, oh, hello. Uh, if we have anyone watching who is just watching, you know, maybe you played other Animal Crossing games, maybe you started with ACNH and have never played New Leaf. Uh, there are no proper pathways in this game. You can't put down a proper path like you can in ACNH. Uh, so back in the day, back in my day, <laughs> we use QR codes. Each player has uh, 10 QR code slots. That's the most that you get. So New Horizons, again, gives you so much more. Um, and a lot of people would have multiple characters so they could have multiple paths. Uh, I'm also a really big fan of corner paths. Obviously, there's paths that are just like one tile and that's it. And like that makes it really easy. I like corner paths, which have the borders on them like this. Um, so, of course, these are going to take up some more space, right? Um, this is my first time actually seeing them in game. I guess, I guess we'll see. Maybe it's too dark. I don't know. I did find my old path that I really liked from memory and I'm a little tempted to use it again, although it doesn't have corner pieces like um, uh, right angle corner pieces, if that makes sense. Uh, and I don't know if it ever did or if I'm just not finding them. <laughs> it might not have. I might just have like, you know, made do and then forgot about it, but um yeah let's go ahead let's see i think i think first and foremost right i'm gonna leave the map up on screen i think i want to start from the bridge the existing bridge because i kind of need to science something i mentioned it a bit last time but i wanted our path to be probably about three wide uh and i don't know if that's gonna work with the bridge or if it has to be like two or four uh, I'm guessing four, which is like, it's doable. It's just, it's really, really wide for this game. So maybe I will stick with two. Let's take a look here. Let's see. Um, oh, do I like this? It is a nice path. Don't get me wrong, but like, 
Why does it have so much green and blue in it? Hmm. Well, you know what? Here's the good thing, right? If I put down the entirety of this path, if I find another one I like with the same matching borders and everything, I can actually just replace it and it'll replace the entire thing in town. It's actually really nice. Um, do I want too wide? You know what? Why not? Why not? We're just going to go with it. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> so there is actually an order uh, that these get put down in. Um, that I can show you guys, but it's been a minute. There you go. Look at that. I like it. I think it's going to look better with the grass. I think the snow is not doing it any justice. Anyway, uh, if you're curious, when you're putting down paths, so long as you have space around you, it'll put one down right below you. It'll put one down right in front of you. And then I believe it goes in front of you to the left and to the right. Yep, just like that. And then it'll go to your left and right. Like that. And that's generally how I put down paths very quickly. That's kind of my my go-to. Um, so I don't think I can lower this bridge anymore, which means we have like a lot of space here. But I can always put something in there, I guess. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I think I, I have very high expectations because I'm used to AC and H. <laughs> I think that's really all it comes down to. Um, so. With that out of the way, why don't we go ahead. Go ahead and close that down. Uh, and start kind of at least outlining the area um and also by the way once again as i just said i'm not entirely sold on this path i like it i think it looks good uh but am i entirely 100 percent for it no so if you guys have any recommendations for other paths i think I have a favorite kind of look that I'm going for. Um, I really am fond of one paths with borders, as we know. <laughs> um, oh, hello. Um, but two, um, cobblestone, kind of withered, maybe a little bit mossy. Those are kind of my favorite paths, and especially for a town like way back where. It is literally nostalgia. I kind of like that idea. Oh, should this go down a bit? I could probably throw that down a bit. Just to make sure that this is all covered here. Um, and by the way, that was the other annoying thing. I found this out in memory. Um, I think I had one design on my secondary character, which was Mike. <laughs> um, and if you were playing as, say, for example, your other character who didn't have that path on you and you accidentally kicked up the path, you'd have to sign back on to the other character to put it back down. <sighs> this is one thing I don't miss about ACNH. Or ACNL, sorry. Um, I, I really enjoy having proper paths in ACNH so much so that even though there's like really pretty designs like the official path, I think we all know what I'm on about when I say that. Um, and I might use it here and there. I don't ever make a full town out of it. Um, mainly because I just, I just want to appreciate the fact that we have like proper, proper paths. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, alrighty. So, also, I don't know if you guys want this open. I guess I'll leave that open. You guys can kind of see what I'm, what I'm working with here. But yeah, this is pretty much pathing. I won't do the entire thing on camera here because I think that's going to be kind of boring. Um, but I'll do a decent amount. Um, also, question of the day. I'm going to rehash one from stream today. Uh, do you tend to play demos for games? Do you tend to play demos for games? Um... And if so, do you have a, a demo that really sold you on a game? I, um, funny enough, I really am not a, 
massive fan of Pokemon Sun and Moon, but I still think those are like some of the best demos I've ever, or one of the best demos I should say I've ever played. Um, and I really, really enjoyed it. They did a thing where like you kind of signed on over like, I think it was like a week or a couple days and you got rewards that would carry over into the main game. And like, I think there was like Ash Greninja. Like it was cool. It was cool. Don't know if Animal Crossing has ever had a demo. I don't really know how you demo this game. There we go. What do we think about this, friends? What do what do we what are we thinking? I'm asking this as if you guys are gonna be able to reply to me right away. <laughs> Obviously, there's nothing we can do about that, unfortunately. That is just something that you're gonna have to live with. I think I'm gonna like it more in spring. I think that's kind of my my current feelings about this. I think in spring it's gonna look better. Uh, which, if I am correct, if I heard correctly from Twitch chat the other day, I think mid to late February is when the snow is over in Animal Crossing, which is really really good. Um, because that means we don't have to wait too too long. Alrighty. Also, the other really annoying thing as well, uh, I will be paving over the, um, uh, ooh, what's it called? Uh, the plaza, the town tree plaza. And if we ever have Red, Katrina, actually, I should probably go check, <laughs> so on and so forth, any of them visit, uh, they will get rid of the path when they move. Uh, okay, no one here today. That's a shame, actually. Um, and honestly, it's kind of really annoying, <laughs> uh, because you have to put it back down every time, so I get to look forward to that. But yeah, I think, uh, the thing that's also kind of getting me right now, I play, like, my main monitor is actually a TV, um, which is nice. It's great for playing, like, you know, HD games. Animal Crossing is not really... HD <laughs> as much as this is upscaled um, and I just looked over at my side monitors which are actually a lot smaller and it does look quite a bit better so I think maybe it's just the screen I'm viewing it on there we go okay so these are not gonna be like that can I not fill in the side pieces I've, of course in front of doorways as well like uh, retail and the town hall you won't be able to fill in fully. No, okay. I think it's two squares, it looks like, in front of the train station. There we go. Oh, God. Oh, goodness me. <laughs> oh, I don't know how I feel about that. Alrighty, let's test my skills here, shall we? So, below me, below in front of me. Oh god, is it left or right? I'm gonna go left. No, right. Heck. Okay. There we go. So eventually you can kind of learn, like, what side these are gonna spawn on. And it makes it a lot faster. Um, there we go. Alright. Obviously, as well as you can tell from the uh, the map, the paths will not show up on your map. So it is purely just like, you know, if someone new is coming over, they can just follow the path. They can't really follow your map all that well. Uh, so this tree is going to have to move. And my first thought, I'll be honest, was to grab a pear and dig it up. But I know that doesn't work in this one. Uh, but yeah, so that's pretty much that. I think um, from there we'll be going this way. Actually, wait a minute. If I'm going from here, that connects right here. Wow. That's a really good placement. Wait a minute. Can I put this here or is this going to be in my way? Oh, wow. No, it lets me. That's not bad, though. 
I'm very happy with this town layout. I can't remember if I mentioned it yet, but I actually did have another version of Wayback that I recorded like about a week before um, before this recording, before uh, January 1st. Um, and I didn't really like how it turned out, so I didn't continue it. Um, Where was I going with that? Oh yeah, and I thought that was a good layout, but this one's so much better. So there we go, so we go this way. Thankfully this rock won't get in the way. <laughs> um, Cause that is a permanent rock. I guess I can just bring the path forward all the way across to here. I have to get rid of this tree, but that's okay. And then it can just keep going this way. Yeah, I think that's gonna look really, really good. I almost... Seeing the little square here... I think I almost want to have the police station in here. I know I was talking a bit about that last time too, but like, look at this nice little... If it lets me, if it lets me. Because it, it might not, I don't remember how large that square or like that space is. But yeah, this is doable. This is valid. Oh, let me just scoop you. Uh, oh wait, no, that one didn't have to go. <laughs> that one was fine. Okay, and then uh, this one's gonna be a problem. That one and that one. I might go ahead and chop down some trees here since we're just working on this area. I just saw our flag again. I really, really like that. It's very well done. Here we go. Oh man, this music is so nostalgic to me. This is like coming home from, from school, getting onto your 3DS. Even though by the time I um, I was playing ACNL, I was in college, so it wasn't necessarily like classes ended at, you know, 3 o'clock or 3.30 or whenever. Um, but I tended to take early morning classes. Say what you will, I am definitely a morning person. <laughs> I, I don't want to be coming home late. I just want to, like, you know... Um, how am I doing this? Um... I just wanted to go in early, get my stuff done for the day, come home, get my work done, and then chill. Actually, I could have done that a bit differently. I'm a little out of practice with putting these down. I used to be super fast at it. There we go. So something like this, where it just goes right across. Um, I'll put down this so that we can kind of view it a bit better. There we go. Uh, and then this area over here. How far we've come though, huh? I know ACNH, general consensus, especially from what I've read with your guys' comments, it's a very empty game. It lacks a lot of the personality that makes Animal Crossing Animal Crossing, but also it has really good design stuff. <laughs> Say what you will about it, but I do appreciate it for that. Nope. Uh, this, there we go. There we go. Oh wait, this doesn't have a border, does it? I know the border is like... Oh, I guess it's pretty noticeable. I was gonna say it's kind of minimal, but you can see it's there at least. There we go, but yeah, look at this too wide path. It's so small. So small. Maybe in the future I will go ahead and make it wider, but... 
I kind of wish this was a little bit more over, but then I guess I couldn't put my house right next door. So I guess it works out. Um, but just that we could have a path going down and then down this area over here. And like, I'm big on really straight paths as well. Um, God, I think there's probably footage. I think it was my original How to Get the Perfect Town video. I think that was in my original Curb Town, I think. Ooh, maybe? Uh, it was in one of my older towns, at least, and I think in that one, um, I, I had, like, weird kind of diagonal paths and, like, stuff I wouldn't do these days, if you know what I mean. But back then, I was really, really proud of it. And obviously that would, like, you know, that was pre-me even knowing about past plot resetting, so, like, I had no way to influence villager move-ins or locations or whatever. There we go. Yeah, I'll put some bushes or trees or something along this area, kind of break up the... the location a little bit. Also, look at me, I'm, st I'm stacking fruit. <laughs> I've learned, or I've remembered, I should say. Oh god, that was so funny. The amount of people who are like, Crystal, you you can stack fruit, you know. And it's like, oh, right. <laughs> I've just been spoiled. There we go. Uh, I can actually just... Heck, I can just replant these anyway. Uh, okay, so I think it's gonna be this one. Blank. Oh, uh, I think a blank. And then this one. Oh, maybe not that one. No, okay. Okay, cool. So this one was wrong as well. And also, if you guys happen to notice me put down one in the wrong place, please let me know. Um, unfortunately, we won't be able to do dream address visits. I know I had people tell me like where fossils were and uh, if I missed something, I, I caught people telling me where to go and stuff like that. Um, unfortunately, we won't be able to do that for this playthrough, but... Oh, no, no, don't erase. Don't not erase, please. That took forever to get in. Oh, whoopsies. Clearly, I'm gonna have to find another place for my plants as well, or my flowers. There we go. All right. What do we think about that? Look at that. Uh, oh. Okay, so, um. Hmm, okay. I have, I have problems with that. I'll be honest, I got problems with that. I want that to be three wide, but I don't think the bridge will like it being three wide. Huh, how did I deal with this before? You know what? Heck, for now, three wide it is. I'm gonna regret this later because it won't work with the bridge and then I'm gonna be very sad. I'm calling it right now. Uh, to do... Okay, so... Normal, normal, left, right, left, and right again. Hi, balloon. Bear with me. One more. There we go. No, no. No. Yes. A balloon TV. Nice. There we go. 
Yeah, I like that. I do like that. I am going to have trees in here, though, and kind of have trees going down this way. Um, even if maybe we go into, like, a fountain or something here, maybe even a flower clock, um, and then have a two-wide path coming out of the end of it, I think that will do. Assuming, as well, by the way, assuming I can have a bridge here. <laughs> we shall see. It might not work out. Yeah. I like this. I like this. This looks good. I hope I can have trees on either side of the police station because I kind of want to fill in that area. Get rid of these two in the middle, obviously, but cool. Alrighty there, friends. I think this is where I'm going to be wrapping up. We have paths. We got paths, and that's like crazy to think about. Um, if you enjoy, make sure you leave a follow. Leave a follow. Yes, do that. Leave a like, maybe even subscribe if you are new and you managed to make it through this far. Thank you once again to Finn for the Wayback Flag. And again, if you guys have any recommendations for pals that you think would fit what I'm looking for, feel free to like, link, link, you know, link them down below. Um, who knows? Maybe by the time we come back, I'll fully finish paving it and then decide I don't like it. We'll see. <laughs> so thank you so much. Have an amazing, amazing rest of your day. And I will see you all in the next one.